Uh, hello everybody, Anthony is here. In the previous video I talked about how I how I set up my curves to cut this guy and this will be a narrated time lapse how I went through and finished off uh, this whole little uh, design experiment. All right, so here I'm starting with the cutting tool, or oh, not cutting tool, the <laughs> spline tool, and I'm doing the uh, outline around the shape of the kind of cabin and here I was doing that mistake I was actually talking about in the previous video where I did an outline on the top as well so I only need to do the sides from the like side view not from the top but then you can see I'm doing this easy beveling and here I'm doing the backups so I'm just duplicating it all uh, and now I have the backups and then I can uh, start to bevel Pick that guy. I don't think you can pick multiple curves at the same time and bevel them all. You have to pick it one by one. However, the bevel uh, does remember your options, right? So you can remember it's like two or three. You can remember your numeric value and do that. So I was trying, I was kind of thinking here, you can use a curve as kind of like uh, for your brush. So you can do a cut. But then I was thinking, well, uh, I wanted to have, I wanted to apply different colors to these different elements and therefore decided to just use the split tool and cut it through. Here I'm trying, playing around, trying to fix that issue is, uh, you know, now it's like a complicated curve on top and on the side of the body. So now it's cut through the whole mesh. So I'm just changing the depths of the cut and you can see here end of the day i did cut through but it kind of didn't cut well so here i'm just kind of struggling with the cut and just trying to figure out the best options i, I did you know i did get a kind of cut i changed the depths of of the split tool so you know i can modify it and I think this was the final cut in the end. But you can see, yeah, I've done that cut and I have this little, little chunk of geometry on the top, which are not great. Another thing I was doing, because uh, you'll see me undoing a lot of this cut, so I decided to play around with the shapes. You can actually texture some of that stuff on the higher poly and try to figure out the better shapes. Uh, with texturing, you cannot use the curves, unfortunately, uh, not yet at least, but you, you can come up with some designs during higher poly texture. And I probably will record a video about it uh, later on. So here I'm just trying to see. What's uh, going to be a better shape? Beveling it out. And you can see here I had to go and actually bevel individual points. So uh, beveling everything was, it was just too much. So. And now you can see I actually pushing the curve up so I can do a split tool across. So now, now I have like them, this curve is in the air and I can do a proper cut through the whole thing while I'm trying to, trying to do the cut, pushing it up. Just, I'm just throwing it in the air, up in the air. And there we go, I did a through cut, through split, through the whole mesh. And same thing, just uh, doing um, beveling of the front shape. And again, I have a problem that it cuts through too much. So this is where I can use the depth uh, and make the depth not that deep.
but what I actually did, I decided to cut the front of the body, so then I have the front isolated, and then if I do the split through through it, it doesn't go through the whole body, it just kind of stops there, which I didn't really like in the end anyway. And I just did this, I did like a, a side cut. So it takes some uh, time to get used to the logic of these tools, and this was my first time using it, uh, applying to something kind of like uh, some kind of design. And again, idea is more to make uh, a fairly quick design, not really to get some kind of amazing thing out, super clean. I'm always trying to make it as clean as I can, but uh, sometimes it's just counterproductive and just make it not perfect, but okay. Like something you can then retopologize and get a more perfect shape if you do a nice retopology on top or maybe decide to do it in cut. But again, doing this stuff here is, I found it to be faster than trying to do it in, in, in a cut software. Which, I mean, if you have experience, if you can do that faster in the cut software, you can actually comment that, I'm curious. And here I'm trying to kind of design with these shapes, right? Trying trying to design is the color and see if it's looking better or not. And I think I spent a lot of time with these color schemes, a lot of time just changing it constantly. And I decided to do this little element. And I'm kind of just changing this uh, one by one, these uh, vertices. I think that vertex didn't want to work for some reason, so kind of maybe the value was too high. Sometimes in the perspective view and it starts to mess around on here. In this case, I think I had symmetry on, I had like radial symmetry on, and I had this problem that I had radial symmetry on the on the blades, on the rotor blades, but th that symmetry kept jumping across to different parts of the mesh and uh, I was just struggling with that. I don't know why, but it's just, I guess it's a is uh, an issue with the current version of uh, 3D code. And doing extra cuts, uh, seeing if that's better or not. And here I'm trying to do fairly uh, minimalistic, right? So just clean shapes. I even think I ended up doing maybe way too many cuts in the end. Again, just designing this split tool, cutting it through and then applying a different color to see how it's going to look.
I tried just, I know, I'm trying the simple shapes, but I was, in the end, I was really beveling the curve all the time. And quite often I'll do just a quick cut, and take a look at how, how it looks, and then I'll be like, okay, that looks pretty good. So then I can bevel and, uh, the curve and do you know, something more complicated. So here I was trying, you know, I was playing around with the idea of box hiding parts and unhiding, but that really didn't look good. So I decided to stick to a just a nice smooth body. Some of the stuff, it's almost like easy to do in Photoshop, you know, you can uh, do the outline in Photoshop, play around with, you know, take a screenshot, paint some textures on top, and see how it looks, and then do the actual cuts. So I was quite happy with this, like, underbelly shape, under tail. Uh, so I look around at it and I'm pretty happy with the result. And here the radial symmetry is again uh, getting getting in the way and cuts through the through everything. This was my kind of final color scheme for the guy in the end. I was checking if I wanted to rotate the blades, but in the end, just kept them at 90 degrees. Kind of just a tiny little bit of detailing on the body. and just playing with colors. I wanted to do something with the nose. And in the end I just pretty much uh, hit the, everything and, and hit some beads and kept it kind of just empty. I try not to unhide too much because then it will look too much like a 3D code type design. And I'm just jumping into the render room and seeing how it looks with the final render. And here I wanted to do a major tweak in the end, I just picked everything up and compressed the front part 
is in the postal. And that was really about it. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video.